Well, Joe, not really the way to exit the FA Cup today. There's no good way no, to exit the FA Cup, and it was there's no good way. Um, yeah, just not good enough. And you know, the competition has shown over the over the centuries that um, if you don't turn up, you're not absolutely at it. League placing, pyramid, you know, your position in that doesn't matter. It, it'll um, it'll level the playing field. And and today, you know, we we weren't good enough. And can you put your finger on particularly why was it sickness in the camp? Was it? No, look, I don't. I don't want to look for excuses. That there's, we weren't good enough right across the board. You know, we we should be um, more methodical in 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 certain parts of it, um, in terms of keeping the ball and and you know using the the level of uh, ability of of your your possession based players to stay above it. We didn't quite do that today in terms of people done some things that you wouldn't necessarily encourage and you know they they, they they do us on a set play and you know the manager spoke in the build up to it about about the set piece we've spoke all week to the lads we've we've worked on it um but unfortunately today it's it's given us a, a mountain to climb um and we haven't been good enough were you surprised at all with how boring would approach the game in terms of it wasn't your stereotypical non-league performance they passed it around yeah look they, they, they had nothing to lose, you know, and as they've shown, they're, they're a competent side. We knew that from last year. They had a decent cup run, I think, ended at Everton last year. Um, and as I say, the, the, the FA Cup for teams can be a um, a real mood lifter. You know, it's a chance to build something. You know, how many times have you seen teams get on a good FA Cup run and build the seasons off it? I mean, I remember being Evertonian in 95 and, and Everton was struggling near the bottom of the table. Joe Royal took over, got an FA Cup run, won the FA Cup and stayed up comfortably. And... Um, you know, you can use it as a spring footboard for your season. We have to be careful here that that it doesn't, um, you know, pull us back as good as we were last Saturday. It was as poor as we were today. And look, I don't want to take anything away from from Board and Wood. I think they deserve enormous credit. They've come, made us look average today, and 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 deservedly dumped us out the cup. So you know, enormous credit to Luke and, and his team. Just finally, we spoke to James Conley earlier. He's immensely proud of being named Rovers captain. Can you just talk us through the decision to give him that that um, title when you've got many of the more experienced players in, in the dressing room? I just think he, he has uh, really good leadership qualities, and you know we all know Glenn Whelan is the influence and the experience. But but again, you know he's coming towards the end of his career rather than the start, and you know we want to grow leadership in our team. Um, James is somebody who I think has enormous qualities, and and you know Jordan. And Sam Finley and Cootsie not available today. Um, I didn't really want to go to Bobby Thomas or Lewis Gibson because they're lone players, they're not our players. So I don't like the goalkeeper being captain, it's not really for me. Um, I know teams do do it, and um, Jan Luigi B. Buffon, probably the best example of it. But I just think it's a long way to go for the, for, for the influencer on the pitch to speak to the referee if that's the case. And um, you know, forwards, you don't really make forwards the, the captain because they're the ones usually, if there's a change, that, that they whip it off. So um, I, I think Beef will be a captain wherever he goes in the future, um, but, but his first introduction to it is probably one he'll want to forget in, in a hurry.